Interrupt our regular programs to cross over to River State for live coverage of the commissioning of the official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly by the State Government. Stay with us. Honorable Austin Adele Opara, OFR, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives. The Right Honorable Ikui Owajibani, DSSRS, Speaker, River State House of Assembly, and his wife, Lady Rose Uga Ibani. Your Excellency, South Celestino Mayor, GSSRS, former Governor of River State. Your Excellency, Engineer Tele Kuru, DSSRS, former Deputy Governor of River State. Ambassador Desmond Akao, Chairman, People's Democratic Party, River State. Distinguished Senators and members of the National Assembly here present. The Right Honorable Prince Chibudom Wuche, DSSRS, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives. The Deputy Speaker, Principal Officers and members of the River State House of Assembly. Members of the State Executive Council. Your Majesty King Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja, JP, JK V, Amina Bovo Popo, Chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, and all the traditional rulers here present. Chief Ferdinand Alabrabra, Chairman, Elders Council, People Democratic Party, River State, and Elder Statesmen here present, Special Advisors, Permanent Secretaries, Mayor, Potakot City Local Government Area, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the commissioning of the official residence of Speaker, River State House of Assembly, as constructed by the government of River State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, May I invite to give the welcome address, the Mayor of Port Harcourt City Local Government Area, Honorable Sir Alwell Ihunda. Your Excellency, Chief Barrister, yes, on Maison Wiki, the Governor of River State, Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Palebo Haribanigo, the Deputy Governor of River State, your, the right honorable, the right um, honorable Austin Opera, the former deputy speaker of Federal House of Representatives, our special guest for today's ceremony. Your Excellency, may I adopt the already established protocol. Your Excellency, on behalf of the chiefs, elders, the good people of Port Harcourt, and in fact, the entire councillors of the Potakot City local government, we are indeed very grateful to have you and your entourage here today. And we say welcome to this ceremony of the commissioning of the official residence of the, speaker, uh, the River State House of Assembly uh, speakers, uh, please. Your Excellency, sir, we cannot thank you enough for what you have been doing in Portaco City local government. This is a clear indication of your urban renewal project, which you have uh, intended in returning Portaco back to its known garden city. The edifice that we're about to commission today is a clear indication of how houses in GRA should look like. And I believe and I pray that the residents of this area should emulate the state government in ensuring that their environment and their houses at least are befitting to, uh, to meet the standard of houses that are in GRA. Your Excellency, once more, you are welcome. We pray that the Almighty God will continue to strengthen you and keep you in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ibiala we, anime cow, anime cow, anime cow. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to thrill us with their sonorous voices, may I invite the Andoni Mass Choir.
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for the Andoni Mass Choir. May I now invite the Omaruma Unique Dance Group of River State.
Flash originators, members of Mpolora, Urugu, Nkalamanu, Ameka. Flash originators, members of Mpolora, Urugu, Nkalamanu, Ameka. 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 This is Flash Originators members of Mbolu Oro Woruko. Tan Tan Tara, Tan Tan Tara, Tan Tan Tara, Chinda Wolu, Mvona Meju, Akata Bo, Orororo, Pompiti Papande Wo, Tansa, Imele, Watakri Etum Hijinaka, Watakri Etum Hijinaka, Watakri Etum Hijinaka, Watakri Etum Hijinaka, what a creatum hijinata. 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 I away. Kabu members can pull or a work book. They get your own or a kata. Give up. 
Watayaka. We get away, we get away. He will not we get Watayaka. I will get when I wear, or we look away.
Thank you so much. Please can we put our hands together for members from our work. May I now invite for a play like titled Rivers of Shelter, directed by Dr. Ovundai Hoa, the image.com global theater group.
with the construction of 50 units of two bedroom semi detached apartments at Iria Bay for the public. Uh -huh. Oh, as if that was not enough. He constructed 24 units of three bedroom and suits for the River State civil servants, which have been given to them. Oh, yes. Just wait and hear it. Eh? Wait and hear the last part of the story. Hang on. He also constructed another 20 duplex, 12 of three bedroom and eight of two bedroom apartments at Amasoma Street, old GRA Port Accord for the civil servants. Oh, my God. oh yes, he is. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, the judges were not left out too. Yeah, and um, talking about the House of Assembly, as I speak with you, work is ongoing for the construction of 32 number of four duplex for the members of River State House of Assembly. Oh! <laughs> oh! I will soon be on my way for the commissioning of the Speaker's Villa. Eh? If you that's a Speaker's Village? No, no! This is the official resident of the Speaker of River State House of Assembly. Oh. Yes, now. Uh, uh, calm, down, calm, down. Calm, down, calm 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 down. I know how you feel. Mm. See, mm. the edifice is all inspiring, mm. phenomenal, mm. pitchy, mm. and a wonder to behold. Oh. <laughs> English, English. If you live in there, I mean, if you live in there, you will have no other option than to keep speaking. Choo! Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Uh, what is this? Papi. Eh? Papi. What is this now? Now, so you won't come on and leave us, Abby. No. How won't they thank him now? Oh, you mean how you want to thank him? Yes. yes. Like how do you want to thank him? Yes. Hey, I beg, make we join Rian at our last celebration dance. Uh, okay. Um, those in favor say hi. Hi. Those against say no. Eh? Who the please? Oh, the highs have it. Hey. hey. Yes, yes, yes. Come and dance for us. Dance, 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 dance. Thank you. invite the Honorable Commissioner for Housing River State, Elder Tassie Chinedu Mwabweze JP for the project description. Do I the governor of River State, 
Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, our special guest of honor, the Right Honorable Speaker of River State House of Assembly, the man for whom we are here today. Your Excellency, please permit me to stand on the protocol that has already been established. Your Excellency, we are here to commission the official residence of the Speaker's Villa. Built and furnished by His Excellency, yes, from Ezeon Wiki, CON, GSSRS, POS Africa, a governor of River State. Your Excellency, please permit me to go a little down the memory lane. Just like the play showed, or those that listened to the play, you find out that you, through the memory lane, the, His Excellency, the governor of the state, intervened in various processes in, the, in the providing housing units or adding to the housing stock of River State. The first was in his first tenor, where in the first 100 days of office, he built the two-bedroom, 50 units at Iribe, which were commissioned and given out to the members of the public. After that, he turned his attention to the civil servants, where he built the 24 flats at Lagos Street for civil servants, which also had been commissioned and allocated. Away from that, he built again for civil servants at Amosoma Street, just at OGRO here, 20 flats of three and two bedroom mix, which also had been commissioned and given out. After that, he now turned his attention to the judiciary, where he built 20 luxurious four bedroom duplex at GRA and named it Emmanuel Chiwenwo Aguma SAN staff quarters, judges' quarters, which had also been given to the judges of River State, and all were given at, at uh, all were given at owner-occupier basis. And after that, he also built to the, he also built to the, the judges of the Federal High Court, the judges of, uh, the justices of the Supreme Court, and all that are mem members of River State. And af after that, he also gave Your Excellency, after that, he now gave 32 Hello, he gave 3,200 meter square of land which he now built to the members of the House of Assembly, I mean to the Speaker of the House of Assembly. Today we are here to commission this edifice, which is for the uh, Speaker, official uh, residence of the Speaker of River State House of Assembly. As I speak with you, not only this, he is also building another 32 duplex for the remaining members of the River State House of As Assembly in the old Assembly quarters, which in next eight months will be commissioned by His Excellency. Today, as you enter here, your eyes will tell you what you're going to see to verify that our governor is a quality project governor. What we are commissioning today is the five bedroom duplex which he built and furnished and using no other contractor than the famous Julius Berger. Julius Berger built and furnished these premises. As I'm telling you, as I speak now, his governor had also paid all the money. He's not paying owing a dime to Julius Berger. Now, if you look at the main villa, we have the five bedroom, and the five bedroom upstairs containing the master bedroom and the madam's bedroom. And then on the downstairs, we have the living room, we have also the waiting room, we have the kitchen equipped and furnished, we have the store, cold and dry, and we also have the speaker's private office which he can make use at any time. And beyond that, at the back, we have the, the boys' quarter, which also contains the gym, the bar, and the washroom. And behind it, we have the uh, three, bed, uh, three uh, units of self-contained uh, flats, you know, for the service quarter, as well as, as, well as the, the washroom. Now in the front, we have what you are just looking at is the generator house and the, the very quarters for the gate house. And then behind, 
there is a mechanized swimming pool which when you go you will look at it and behold the beauty of what he has done your excellency you have done so well and by the time you move in and look at what your eyes will now tell you will now see for yourself what this project governor the quality project governor have done for river state and for the, uh, the speaker thank you and god bless you as come Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite to give a remark on behalf of the contractor, Julius Berger, Nigeria, PLC, Engineer Jürgen Fischer. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Neesom Esono Vike, CON, her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, Dr. Mrs. Ipalibo Hari Banigo, His Excellency, the former Governor of River State, Sir Celestine Omeo, our special guest of honor, retired Honorable Austin Odili Oprada, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I please stand on the existing protocol. Excellency, today we are here for commissioning of Speaker River State House of Assembly official residence. Normally, I have the honor to hand over flyover bridges and roads, but today I'm very happy to hand over a high-level residential building to our client. I'm convinced that this building and all related facilities will meet our quality expectation which we call it the Burger Standard. Thank you very much on behalf of the entire executive management for trusting Julius Berger PLC once again for the realization of this project. Also a special thank to the Honorable Commissioner of Housing and his team for the professional cooperation during the construction period. God bless this project and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a remark, may I respectfully invite the Speaker, River State House of Assembly, the Right Honorable Ikui Owaji Bani, DSSRS. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, the one I refer to as the political consensus objector, one who, because of his religion, his conscience, he will refuse to take arms, even against his enemies and critics, because he believes that only God can create life and only God can take life. Our leader, a governor that is known, that is one amongst equals. Nyesum is a one wiki. The deputy governor of River State, a woman that epitomizes womanhood, a humble lieutenant. Dr. Mrs. Ipalibo Harry Banigo. Our special guest, the Right, the Honorable Austin Adele Opara, OFR, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, the former Governor of River State, His Excellency, Sir Celestan Omeya. An elder statesman who, as a young man, I am striving so hard to emulate, given humility and dedication. If in a laboratory condition you can use him as a specimen to study humility, our elder, a chief, 
Chairman of BOT, River State Branch of PDP, Chief Fedi Alabraba, as the Governor refers to him as the Chairman of BOT, River State Branch of PDP. Distinguished Senators and House of, House of Reps members that are here, the Deputy Speaker, Principal Officers and members of River State House of Assembly, State Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, the former Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, the former Deputy Governor, Engineer Tele Ikuru, the SSG, Chief of Staff Government House, the Head of Service, Cabinet Commissioners that are here, Special advisors, our traditional rulers, the chairman of River State Traditional Rulers Council, the Amayanabo of Upobo, the Treaty King of Upobo Kingdom, and other traditional rulers present. My dear wife, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Please let me, Your Excellency, let me acknowledge the presence of a reverse testman, our father, OCJ Okocha SAN, former president of Nigerian Bar Association. And you know, Nigerian Bar Association is the, is the best and the most respected association in Nigeria. If it is not Nigeria Bar Association, it is not Nigeria Bar Association. You should know. Ladies and gentlemen, first let me thank God for today. I take this privilege as Speaker Reverses House of Assembly on behalf of principal officers and members to make these few remarks. Your Excellency, I know that your name is Nyesom Ezenwo Wike. Originating from these three names is what we have as new vision of River State today. Our presence here today is a product of that new vision. N stands for Nyesom, E stands for Ezenwo. W stands for Wiki. That is the new vision in River State today, and that is what brought the dignitaries you find here today to be here and gathered. I want to say this. Several speakers from the one when you assumed office to this day have eulogized you in several ways. They have listed the projects you have done for want of, for me not to repeat myself, I would like to call on the leader of the house, the Honorable Martin Chika Amehule. You know the speaker is always sitting in the chair, but now that I'm standing, in case I will engage in repetition, you can use the standing order to call me to order. I will not want to repeat what others have said, but I will take it differently. How? Development. All that they have said is that you are developing reverse. Development has three core values. You are constructing flyovers. You are touching the health sector. You are building other social infrastructure in terms of education even in terms of human capacity. All these are features of development, but when you consolidate them, they fall into three categories. And any development that does not have these features cannot be classified by experts as development. The first one of the core values of that is self-esteem. Anywhere development is taking place, the people who find themselves in that society must have the pride that they are seeing something different of a quality and they are achieving a higher quality in life. Can anyone say that what the governor is doing is not development? It's not correct because you are changing the narrative in terms of a higher quality. 
Our movement now is not horizontal, it's vertical. So that is development. That is the first core value of development. The second core value of development is sustenance. Every development in human society must serve as a foundation, sustenance of the people. Population is not about number, it's about people. What are the achievements recorded by Governor Nyesom as a one week in terms of development? So if the people are having sustenance, example of such is your construction and opening of commissioning of the cassava processing plant. I just want to mention because I don't want to repeat myself because we have a baseline. The leader can call me to order. The third one is freedom. If development does not bring freedom to the people, it's no development. I want to tell reverse people, I want to tell the whole world that today, anyone that is from River State, man or woman, a youth or an adult, has pride. You can stand anywhere and say, yes, you are from River State and you don't feel perturbed. History will be kind and charitable to Governor Nyesom as a one week in this regard. These are the three core values of development. The freedom he brought to River State is unparalleled. His re-election in 2019, an indicator of such freedom. The people, therefore, in this era of new development, have choice to choose between bad and good. So the three core values of development established under his administration for the people of River State. And indeed, not necessarily for the people of River State, because as a pace setter, as one who is showing example, others are learning, even though they will not say it. Your Excellency, I want to, on behalf of River State House of Assembly, thank you. You see, what I have attempted to do here is like what St. Luke did. If you read the three opening verses of St. Luke, St. Luke was writing maybe to the governor of a Roman Empire, Asaden, Theophilus. Luke argued in the opening verses that many who started from the beginning attempted to write what they witnessed and how it was handed over to them. But he, Luke, having been an ardent follower from the beginning, that he deemed it necessary to set the record in order and address it to Theophilus, even though the position of Theophilus by biblical order and other and uh, philosophers, they have not established, but from the record, you find out that Theophilus could have been a high profile government official. So Luke was writing to him, setting the records in order. What I'm doing here is setting the record for others to know that Governor Yeson Wike in his administration has been able to carry River State. And today, outside River State, River State is even more discussed in public places outside the state, positively. Your Excellency, coming to this edifice, this is the legislature. You have done well for us. When you build institution that will outlive the occupants or the occupier of that office, it means there is a system in place. And that system cannot be taken out by anybody even after you. The first of the institution of legislature, a system is in place. And if a system is in place, any progressive society that puts a system, lays foundation for a system, it means that that society has elevated merit over mediocrity. And that is progression. Your Excellency, I want to thank you on behalf of members of River State House of Assembly. I don't know what to say again because my thanking you is not even enough. Asking my wife and members to join me to thank you is not enough. I have also seen what of the personal touch you have given to me, having been an apostle of your own philosophy. Let me tell us that are seated here today that until I establish contact with His Excellency Nyeso Mezenwa Wike, I was merely 
seeing politics the way the Ethiopian eunuch was reading from Isaiah without understanding the scripture. Until Philip was sent to the Ethiopian eunuch, even the scripture the Ethiopian eunuch was reading, he didn't understand. So until I established contact with Governor Nyeso, the political scripture was not understood by me, but he interpreted what it means to be in politics. In that sense of humility and dedication, our special guest, today you are here with His Excellency. I know this is your home. This is your primary constituency. Having served at that level, at the apex of legislation in Nigeria, I think that you will also join me, join the River State House of Assembly, as you do us this honor, as you do the state this honor, to thank His Excellency. Let me conclude my remarks by also saying that as one who respects the custom and tradition of the people, Chairman Rivers the Council of Traditional Rulers and other traditional rulers that are seated here, it is my appeal because thanking him and asking members to also join me to thank him is not enough. Our statesmen will you join and thank Governor Nyeson Wike. Anything I say here if I say otherwise tomorrow, it should be used against me. As one who has conscience, now that the grass is green, I should be able to say it. Because when the grass is dry, people cannot be gathered in this manner and in this number and in the same character and mode. Let me say this. Rivers people, distinguished special guests, Your Excellency, I want to say that has done well for the state. I challenge anybody who will want to do any critique to go around the circumference, look at the spectrum of how people are made leaders, how people become leaders, how people become rulers. And I challenge anybody, if anyone, even including me, including me, if anyone would have been elected before Governor Nyeso Meze Nwawuke, if that person could have done what is happening in River State today, including me. But because he has now shown us the way, we can learn from him. Anyone that will come after him has an example, a lesson to take from. Therefore, at this juncture, I take this privilege and honor to welcome the special guest, Your Excellency, and all others in the governor's entourage who has come, who have come here to witness this epoch-making occasion. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I respectfully invite to give a speech the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesu Ezewanwike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, Power of Sports. <laughs> Excellency, the Deputy Governor of our state, Your Excellency, the Special Guest of Honor, the former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Right the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, our dear host for today's occasion, the former Governor of the State, the former Deputy Governor. Madhya State, distinguished senators that are here and members of the State House of Assembly that are here, the chairman of our great party and leaders of our state, particularly the chairman of PDP, Elders Council Chief Ferdinand Alabrava. 
members of the State Executive Council, the Mayor of Fort Harcourt, and members of your team, the Chairman of River State National Laws Council, and members of your council, the Chairman of the RBC Council of Chiefs, other leaders of the state, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, first of all, thank the former Deputy Speaker has a representative to achieve with your and former minister, you know, that the way you have money will not even know you see you again. So the, the, the company, the regional manager of Jurassic Eugene Fisher, and members of your team, let me first of all thank God Almighty that we are privileged, we are opportune to be here today to commission the official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. We have talked about three arms of government that make up the state, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. Of course, the executive has a befitting place where the governor is supposed to relax and function very effectively for purpose of administering of administering the affairs of promoting the affairs of the state. The judiciary also has its own place where the chief judge will relax and see how the administration of justice is being carried out very much effectively. Of course, the legislature is not supposed to be different. And that is why we have provided a place for the head of the legislature, which is the speaker, to be able to have a very convenient place for him to relax and think well in making laws for the state. And that is why we are here today. I have discussed with most of my colleagues and most people have appreciated what we have done. We have talked about autonomy and we said the executive, the legislature and the judiciary of course are different acts of government and should be autonomous but we must work together for the interests of the state. And today, because the legislature lacks the capacity to have technical aspects in terms of buildings, and so it behoves on the executive to provide a befitting accommodation for the legislature. Even the National Assembly, it is not the National Assembly that views the legislative quarters or the office, it is the Federal Capital Development Authority, and which is a department of the Federal Capital Authority, which is the department of the executive. And most people may not understand that. They think because the legislature has the right to award contract, they do have the right to provide and build on their own. It is not so. It is the duty of the legislature to provide the funds, and when the funds are provided, it is a department within the executive that provides the physical infrastructure for what the legislature is supposed to have. People mistake it that the legislature should award contract. Your business is not award contract. Your business is to make good laws for the executive to implement and for the judiciary to interpret. And that is what is supposed to be. And today, we're not just here because the special, the, the, the speaker has an official quarters. It's just, it's a different official quarters built by a reputable, reputable company, Julius Berger. 
I don't know any state that will boast that they have a defeating speaker's official residence like what we have today in River State. The Julius Berger Jude National Assembly, National Assembly, the Legislature built the Government House, I mean, the, I mean, the Legislature built the National Assembly, the Legislature built Government House for Tarkat, the Legislature also built the Special Speaker's Official Residence. We were not part of the building of your offices and your chambers. You built that. You built it by yourself. And that's why today it cannot stand the test of time. The legislature built the office, your chambers, you built it, and it's leaking everywhere. You built it. So when you come to tell me it's leaking, I say, hey, who did the contract? Is it the executive? No. Who did it? Legislature. Go and face your own. But look at what the executive has built by bringing a competent company contractor to do the job. By the time you enter into this place, you will see whether the assembly will not be fighting among themselves on who will be the speaker. Unfortunately, the party will not allow them to fight. We have chosen a speaker, so shall it uh, be. To the party. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. I was coming here regularly to inspect what George Becker was doing. Because people saw crazy. They say there is the governor's property. How I wish it is my property. Because anything that I'm doing, I want to take personal interest commitment to see that it is done well to see that whoever is going to occupy will be happy for himself and know that the state has done well. And that's what is important. I'm sure most of the assembly people, some of them who are here, well, they were carrying rumors. The governor has taken the speaker's uh, residence. Every day the governor is there. We don't know that this governor has taken even our official uh, residence. Today, all of you work under uh, rumor. Shame unto you. Shame, shame, shame. Shame. You see it now? The speaker has spoken. I told, I told all of you, I'll continue to disappoint all of you one by one. All the things you are planning It will not. Because my hands are clean. Look at, if you go and plot to remove the speaker, you know you are plotting against the People's Democratic uh, Party. And the party, our own party in the state, is not like the other people, who will rise up, who will rise up and fight to it. Nothing will happen. Nothing. If you like, go to Abuja, do anything you want to do with them, it won't work. Speaker, you are speaker. Speaker, you are speaker. Everybody must not love you in life. If everybody loves you, there's something fundamentally wrong with you. When I see people say they like me too, I say, why you? Cannot. Every time people send me texts, you are the only governor, you are the best governor, I will just laugh. Say, this guy, this is why you people. You think it is me that you are fooling? No, go and look for those who are not experienced. So. It's not me. So, see what we are doing. Today is the last day we are going to commission. Tomorrow will, the, the, will be the last day we are going to flag off. On Monday will be the last day as concerns our anniversary. On Monday will be to give account to those people because not everything that we have commissioned will be able to tell reverse people, see what we have done in the last six years. So that those of you who have been opportune to go out with us, 
those of you who one way or the other you may have traveled and you have an opportunity to witness what we have done you will entitled to have a document in your hand and challenge us this document that you have presented to the people of the state is fake it's not correct this project is not there this one is not there it's only this one that is there that's why we give everybody fake since 2015 we came on board see what you said we have done is it correct we have done this or we have not done it or we are doing this or it is a lie you have a right now so everybody will be there and have a document you are not going to buy it you will take a document home compare from local government to local government those of you who are using social media to talk rubbish about us some of you are here you pretend as if you are not the one I know you are the one. Continue. Continue. I have told people, nobody can deceive me, not one. At the appropriate time, we will tell ourselves the simple uh, truth. I bought to I bought. Mr. Joseph, this is you. Mr. Uh, 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 KK, this is you. The uh, Senator Dilabi, this is you. Dr. Sakibo, this is you. W speaker, this is you. Eyeball to eyeball. Mamuna young for you, Egelegate de la Bo, Mamuna young for Egelegate de la Bo, Mamuna young for you, Egelegate de la Bo, Mamuna young for you, Mamuna young for you, Mamuna young for you. I will say, I will say it for you. I'm not going to be afraid of anybody. Nothing. Nothing. Those of you who understand the Quran, I don't know how to speak other language. Those of you who know, I said, look, the wrestling time has come. The wrestlers have come. It is when we see, we know it is uh, correct. Who will talk? After everybody, Melembe, Melembe. No amount of. Uh, blackmail will change me. He cannot. He cannot. There's nobody I cannot talk to. Be. Not, not one. Not one. I will speak before everybody. And I will tell you. So, all those who are trying to cause confusion amongst us, it's their business. When if you're causing confusion, you get the ticket, you lose the election, what have you achieved? Have you achieved anything? Certainly not. When the time comes, I look at those who want to run for governorship. I say, Joseph, you see what you are. James, see who you are. Dorothy, you too. I will tell everybody. I will tell everybody. So, yes, all those of you who are planning this one, some of you have got fathers now in Bayasa, in Jojo. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. I am here, and I'm ready to face any battle. There's no battle I have no face. I will not support anybody who cannot move River State forward. I will not. I won't. I will support those who mean well for this state and who have the heart of the party to continue to support the party. That is those I will support. Anybody who thinks that you will use uh, blackmail to, to, to say anything, don't waste your time. It will not work. It will not work. So, I will do the right thing and nothing less than that. I will do the right thing. And I have told people, and I could not to say it, I didn't say that assembly people are plotting against me. I never said so. I never said so. Those of who are planting that in the newspapers here, I said some assembly people, I know what they are doing, and I said some members of that assembly. I never said, now nah, some people don't understand the English. The difference between National Assembly and some members of National uh, Assembly. The difference between State Assembly and some members of State uh, Assembly. Some people don't understand that simple grammar. You don't. And of course, when I say some chairman of council, I didn't say our council uh, chairman. I never said so. So, those of you, continue to your church, your heart, your, your mind, 
is worrying you. Because not it will be worrying you. Because you know the bad thing that you are doing. And I'm going to crush it at the appropriate uh, time. I will crush it. If you like, look down. Press your phone. If you like, look up. Press your phone. I know love you. The good thing is that I'm not just a governor. I'm a governor that comes from the most populated eligible voters. Mm. Anyhow you do, you need me. Anyhow. There's nobody in this state that will want to be governor that will not look for my local government. Let me see that person now. Let me see the person. Is it that here? He needs me. Is it also? He needs me. Is it the telephone? He needs me. Is it the advance? Uh, a baby? He needs me. Is it your second book? Is it your lacquer? Is it your baby? They all need me. They all need me. Our local government cannot be underrated. Not one person. Is it your dumb? He needs me. As his in law, what will you do? Is it a former party chairman? What is it? Mbara. 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 They did not. So, no matter how you will fight, you will come to us. So no matter how you hate me, calm down. Don't hate me too much so that you don't have a problem. Limit it. So I'm just telling all of you. Is it a former man, Idamu? I hear you answer. You need me. Anyhow you want to do it. You need me. So, luckily God put me in a, in a position. You cannot deal without my local uh, government. What are the party that Abuja gives you ticket or not give you ticket? You must come home and meet all the Abu local government. Not only the Abu, my own ward, which is bigger than most of you, are local government said by vote. So you need me. So what I would do is to relax in my house, in my village, enjoy my life. As they are coming, I say, go and see this family. Go and see their family. Bring good here. Bring them there. See them here. Because I don't need it again. I'm already living. You know? So, as soon as you see you go there, have you gone to Rumah Bakalase? As soon as you don't move anywhere, stay in your house. They will come and see you. Tell them, divide Rumah Bakalase into 40 compounds. They will see you one by one. So, let people should know that we must work together and move the state uh, forward. Look at where the speaker is going to resign. Look at the speaker. Here! was abandoned, was abandoned. But today, you have an assembly that you have a speaker's business. We are building 32 number of four bedroom flats for the assembly members, which will be commissioned this year. Commissioned this year, we are paid 70% of the money. And people think that this money, you don't know what to do with it. If any of you have read punch today, they said, look, and I challenge anybody, tell me the bank. Where we are, someone in debt, tell me the bank. If the investor government is owing money, is only owing money based on the loan collected by the military government in those days. Let any bank come and challenge me, we can owe us 2 billion, 3 billion, 4 billion. Let the bank come. Let the bank come. So I can work freely. If you don't know what to do with your head, you don't know what to do with your head. If you didn't there, you didn't there. You didn't there. We came, we came, we came, my governor. You must, you must, you know, some people want to come to the office, they don't even know what to do with the office. They like the ideas. I prepared myself. I know what I want to do for the people of the United States. And that's why everybody is saying that, oh, what's happening? Where is the money coming from? There has been money in River State before now. There has been money. Is how do you apply the money? For the interest of the people. That's just what is important. You can have one million naira. Somebody can have two hundred thousand naira. How he applies, you have one million. And how that person applies, he's uh, two hundred thousand. Different things. The man who has two hundred thousand naira will do far much better than the man who has one... Uh, Million. Some people earn two million a month. Somebody earns three hundred thousand a month. 
you find out that the man who earns two billion naira a month has less problems, but with higher money. The man who earns three hundred thousand naira has more problems with less money. Yet manages himself very well. But the man who has that kind of money with less problem every day is in a political club. The next day is in a what do you polo club. The money is going there. But the man who has more problems and lesser money, he said, look, well, let me apply myself very well. Though. Let me have see I can pay my house rent. Let me de detach myself, deny myself, or take me a cool bottle of beer. Maybe in future, God will help me. I'll take a cool bottle of beer. And then the man who has more money cannot do anything. Then when you see the man who has less money, you say, hi, this man managing. It is proper management. It is somebody who knows what to do. That is all. Nothing more than that. Nothing more than that. Some of you have three million naira. You think of marrying wife every month, and you pay for it to maintain a wife. Is it easy? No. Is it by mouth? No. It's not by mouth. It's money. Nobody lost beautiful thing that will not spend the money. So, Mr. Speaker, I congratulate you. And this is possible because of the cordial relationship between the legislature and the executive. You have done very, very well. We will not have been where we are today, but for the legislature, for the robust support you've given to the executive to do what we are doing. I can tell you, by the grace of God, we all go home with our shoulders high. You will be proud to say, my dear people of Andoni local government, I'm happy I was a speaker during the time we became governor in 2015. And today you can tell your Andoni people, I'm happy I'm back home. See what I've done. It was not done under any speaker's regime. River State, River State has never had this kind of momentous, very rapid development under the tenure of any speaker. On that one because you felt that the need to work with the executive, that the need for the state to move forward is not personal thing in my pocket, in my pocket, in my pocket. That is it. If we had the kind of money my predecessor, the last government that ended in 2015 had, River State would have been London today. I say it without any uh, apologies to anybody and let them challenge me. Some of them are here to snap pictures to post to social media. I have some of them are going to roast to some of them were beating. I don't know why they were beating. I've told everybody, leave people, let them for, let them snap. I never promised if I said I will finish the whole work. I never said so. All I said, every local government will have an impact of our own administration. And that's what we are doing. Anywhere we go to. So I'm happy. I feel that you have more time, even if it's three, four more years, to stay and enjoy with your wife and your children, to enjoy this uh, uh, edifice. I wish government house was built new. I wouldn't have packed that. After the thought they built that place very lovely, the place was not maintained. And so I lost, uh, after the thought they left, I lost uh, interest. So I had to move to my, my village. But I'm happy I'm in my village. Some people don't have village to go to. Me, yeah, I'm happy I'm in my village. So that's what it's supposed to be. Even I hear people say I said they are land grabbers. I never said so. But those things will not intimidate me too. What I didn't say, I didn't say. What I said, I said. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to hide. I said, and let me repeat it, that all the different people need more land because of their own nature, where they are situated. Because of water. They need land. They need to, to some feel. That's what I said. And it is not a lie. I dare say a lie. Don't you need more land? I'm telling the truth. You go to Abonima, what they will tell you, okay, we need more land. That's SSG, I hear. That's SSG. It's not more land, you told us. So if I said they need more land, what did I say wrong there? Hey, me, my village, do you have anywhere to surf in? I've nowhere to surf in. I don't have. 
But that's the truth. You need more land, and we are going to provide more land. So what does that go to some of you? I send them tests that I'm insulting your people, your people. All those propaganda will not work. All those propaganda will not what? work. Because my mind is as rock as Gibraltar. This man you are seeing here. Forget about I'm joking with you. I know what to do at the appropriate, uh, at the appropriate So don't take me for, for granted. I will laugh with you. I will eat with you. I will drink with you. I will play with you. At the appropriate time, you know, politics is a... Uh, I know it very well. It's not today. Ask uh, people like uh, uh, Marcos. I dealt with them. Ask, ask people like uh, Marcos. They will tell you. So those of you who want to cause problem here, I'm waiting for you to cause that uh, problem. APC has kept you as agents. You know you have no hand work. You can't work. APC has problems. Nigeria has rejected them. So if you are the agent, Nigeria has also rejected uh, you. you. So that's what it is. So, Special Guest of Honor, I brought you here because you're a former deputy speaker. You people will say, oh, in the states, they press or they oppress the state legislature, the state assemblies. I want you to come and see. So when you go back to meet, because I will have uh, this platform, I don't know. What do you call it? A platform of former assembly or national assembly, former speaker, deputy speaker, I don't know. You come and commission, see it. What is it true that the states oppress the state uh, assemblies? If any man can be speaker to live here, to, it has to be given by Julius Beggar. You think that state will not mean well for them? It's, 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 we are going to bring the speaker of the House of Reps to so commission the State Assembly uh, quarter this year, and he will come. He will come. I want them to see what we are doing. It's not to say autonomy, autonomy. We they have autonomy since we came. In fact, now, as I speak to you, if you follow the resolution and the agreement, all of them will lose out. But the agreement is signed. They won't lose out. But I told them, I will not I agree to that. I want the best for my people. But for what they sign, the legislature will be fighting every day. The judiciary will be crying every day. But I said no. What I have agreed to do for them will continue to do it. And none of them will lack as far as this administration is uh, concerned. Mr. Special Guest of Forum, with due respect, I invite you to come. This is your local government. You will have gotten everything, everything. My local government is going empty and then. So please come and talk to your people. Commission the speakers' quarters to the glory of God. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellency, the Governor of River State, the face of democracy in Nigeria. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, very supportive. The right Honorable Speaker and members of the state, a very proud, illustrious State House of Assembly, River State House of Assembly. The, the former Governor of River State, my brother, the former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, former Deputy Governor, former Ministers, distinguished Senators, Honorable Members, the, our dear Party Chairman and the former Chairman, the leader of the Elders Council, as ably re-established by His Excellency today, um, Chief Fedi Anabraba, and of course, our leader OCJ Okocha, and other leaders, Chairman of the River State Council of Traditional Rulers, and other chiefs, our dear ladies, mothers, wives, sisters, youths, ladies, and gentlemen. Rebecca Pankala Mekau, and Mekau, Your Excellency, indeed, this is. 
another plus for you and for your government. You keep making us proud. We are proud of you. We are happy with you. The group that sang here said River State is, and Don is happy. Indeed, Rivers people are happy with you. Don't worry about what people, what some others say. We are indeed happy and proud of what you are doing. You have supported River State. You have done very well. What you did, what you are doing, and what you will do, we are happy. The ADV standing behind me here, at, at least, they will not say it was 80% completed and what you have done is 20%. We are very, very happy. There is no sector, there is no sector, there is no local government, there is no arm of government that you have not established your presence and stamped your authority. We are happy with you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Like you said, there are three arms of government. The executive, the legislature, the judiciary. But there are three arms of one government, not three different governments. They are supposed to work together for the interests of the people. And thank you because the three arms of government in River State are working together for the interests of the people of River State. Your Excellency, thank you very much. The legislature generally is vulnerable. It's a vulnerable arm of government. They are lawmakers. Section 4 of the Constitution says that the legislature is to make laws for the peace, order, and good governance of the state. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, because you and your colleagues are doing that. You are supporting His Excellency. If you didn't provide the enabling environment, the right laws, the appropriation acts, I'm sure that His Excellency will not be doing what he's doing. So, Mr. Speaker, through you to your colleagues, Members of the State Assembly, we are proud of you. We are happy with you. You have provided the effective representation that is meant to be provided by the legislature. You represent our people. You are the face of our people in the parliament and in government. You have provided a rancor-free assembly. You are not threatening to impeach your speaker. You are not threatening to impeach the governor. And because the environment is stable, that is why reverse people are enjoying what we are enjoying. We congratulate you. We thank you. And we pray that you continue in that manner. Mr. Speaker, indeed we are happy with what you are doing. And I want to sincerely call on the National Assembly. The Senate, the House of Representatives, you are there to represent the people. You are there to make laws for good governance. The people are asking, amend the Electoral Act, and in amending the Electoral Act, provide for electronic transmission of results. That's what the people are asking for. Why would you not listen to the calls and the cry of the people? So we are indeed urging our colleagues in the National Assembly, the Senate and the House, please listen to the cries of the people. Amend the Electoral Act and provide for the electronic transmission of results. The benefits are enormous. You will remove the crisis that and the bottleneck we encounter at the collation center. You will remove the army, the military coming to carry results. You will remove the security people coming there to hijack results. The thuggery, the threats that we go through in the, at the collation center will be eliminated. Lives that are being lost at collation center will be eliminated. Our people will have confidence in the electoral process. So truly, Mr. Speaker, I thank you and through you, we say to our colleagues in National Assembly, please amend the Electoral Act and provide for ele electronic transmission of results. It is in the interest of our people. Your Excellency, indeed, we again, we are happy. We pray that God will keep you, God will strengthen you. You will not end at this level. The God that has kept you thus far, despite the challenges, will see you through. You will end well and strong. You will, our prayer is that you move from this level to a higher level. Because Nigeria indeed needs what you are doing in River State. You've, you have transformed River State to the level that River State is the envy of the people of this country. You have given, we are proud. We stand tall in the, in the Committee of States. 
when issues concerning the nation is being discussed. Today, in PDP, nationally, nobody can take River State for granted. In the politics of Nigeria, nobody can take River State for granted. You take River State for granted, you take your ambition for granted. Thank you, Your Excellency. At this point, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, our leaders, I invite you to join me to commission this edifice to the glory of God. Thank you, and God bless you all. Your Excellency, our dear Governor, performing Governor, ladies and gentlemen, indeed to the glory of God, we want to commission this edifice and pray that the right Honorable Speaker and his family will live here and live in peace. Perform their duty, come home and have comfort at this place. Comfort to the extent that he will do and continue to do what is right for the people of this state. To the glory of God, we commission it in the name of God the Father, the God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. This official residence, residential villa, indeed it's a villa of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly was built by His Excellency Nyesom Ezenwon Wike, CON, GSSRS, POS Africa, Governor of River State, commissioned by me, Right Honorable Austin Adela Para OFR, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, today, the 8th 20, day of July 2021, to God be the glory.
This is Channels Television. You're watching the official commissioning of the residents of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Are live here on your home for the news, Channels Television. And as you can see, the governor and his guest are taking a tour of the Speaker's new residence. Uh, this simply means that um, every successive Speaker of the River State House of Assembly uh, will be residing in this very beautiful apartment or this duplex, uh, according to the technical detail we heard from the Commissioner for Housing. He talked about five bedroom duplex for the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Uh, looking through, I can see some dignitaries uh, who joined the, the Governor of River State News on Wike, including the former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Austin Opara, who did the commissioning of the Speaker's residence, as well as the Deputy Governor who is also present, and uh, other party chieftains, as well as members of the State Executive Council. So if you just tune in, this is Channels Television. Uh, watching us live from River State, Port Harcourt, the state capital, where the state government is commissioning the official residence of the Speaker of the House of Assembly in that state. This is Channel Television. We're reaching you live from Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, where the state government is commissioning the official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, uh, who is going to be occupying this facility, I expect, uh, any time from now, because it's officially commissioned. Uh, the River State Governor, you can see their leading guest, as well as a special guest, who himself uh, was a member of the legislature as the uh, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Austin Opara, who did the commission in a beautiful scenario. If you look around swimming pool, a five-bedroom duplex to be occupied by the Speaker of the House of Assembly of River State, Honorable Ikunyawaji Ibani. And every other person will become Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Earlier, there were comments and remarks from all of the guests, including the Governor, who talked about the collaboration between the legislature and the executive, uh, which is demonstrated today by the building of this facility. The speaker, former deputy speaker rather, also talked about uh, the governor's interest in developing the state and commends him for advancing the frontier of development in the state. He also sees the opportunity to speak to the National Assembly on the all important issue of the amendment of the Electoral Act and telling them to listen the yearnings of the people to provide for electronic transmission of results, that are some of his remarks. The speaker himself, who is a direct beneficiary, uh, commended the governor and talked about the fact that he's demonstrated all the parameters 
that qualifies for leadership and development. And uh, he says the governor has done well. So uh, a few guests, uh, special guests, VIPs, are being taken around the speaker's residence in Port Harcourt, somewhere in Ojiare, in River State, where uh, the speaker will be living with his family to lead the legislative arm of government in that state. So we're just listening and uh, enjoy the sight and sound of today's commissioning. This is Channels Television. You're watching the live coverage right here from your home for the news of, of the official commissioning of the residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly by the state government. And at the moment, the governor is taking his guests around the facility. We'll continue to watch and see as the choir renders some beautiful songs uh, just to commemorate this very special event. As the governor said, this demonstrates the fine relationship between uh, the executive and legislative arm of government in River State, which is being demonstrated by the facility we're seeing here. Uh, and the governor prides himself in executing quality projects, as he talked about the firm that executed this particular project. The speaker also commended the governor uh, for this project, talking about his disposition and development that has promoted the image of River State. I'm talking about the Honorable Ikunyo Wajibani, who is the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Austin Opara, who is the former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, also commends Governor Wiki for advancing the frontiers of development in the state and uh, talked about no one can take the state for granted as developments are visible across the different uh, parts of the state. So those are some of the comments from the various speakers who have spoken today at this very uh, epoch-making event. Uh, the speaker is expected to move into this facility anytime from now. Uh, he's still the speaker of the River State House of Assembly. And uh, because he's the official residence of the speaker, it means that whoever becomes speaker will be having this particular facility as their official residence. Uh, basic 
information about this is a five bedroom duplex with all kinds of facilities, fully furnished. Uh, we could see a swimming pool and um, lawns and places for relaxation for the speaker to relax with his family and call this a home to be able to carry our legislative function for the people of River State. Uh, so if you've been following proceedings in River State, it's been a series of commissioning and flag offs and all of that. And the governor has hinted that today marks the end of commissioning for a certain period. Tomorrow uh, is going to go to another place to flag off a project. And then by Monday, he's going to give account of his stewardship after five years of leadership in the state and then take a break before coming back to six years, I beg your pardon, six years of leadership in the state before taking a break uh, to continue with more projects, commissioning, and inauguration. So we're seeing people standing outside the compound, or within the compound rather, but outside the building, allowing the special guests to go in and take a tour of the uh, speaker's residence. Uh, I can see from here that the speaker just stepped out. Uh, we're also expecting the governor and his guests probably they may have been, they may be concluding their tour of the, of the speaker's official residence at the moment. This event is coming to you live on channels, television, your home for the news from Port Harcourt, the River State capital. Oh, oh, oh. 
This is Channels Television. You've been watching our live coverage of the commissioning of the official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital by the River State Government. At the moment, the Governor and his guests, uh, special guests as well as other dignitaries are inside this building. You can see on your screen is the Speaker's House or the Speaker's residence, official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. The Governor at the moment is inside uh, the building taking a tour uh, of the building uh, just to take a look at uh, some of the areas uh, inside this building from the sitting room uh, sitting area uh, to the rooms to maybe kitchen and every other facility around um, the building was officially commissioned by the former speaker of the house of deputy speaker i should say of the house of representative austin opara who commended the governor uh, for his development of strides as well as the relationship between the executive and the legislature. I also mentioned the fact that he sees the opportunity to appeal to his colleagues in the National Assembly on the amendment of the Electoral Act, urging them to listen to the people by providing for electronic transmission of results. Those were his remarks. The governor himself talked about the smooth relationship between the executive and the legislature which has resulted in this beautiful edifice that we can all see uh, right here on our screens where the speaker and his family will be residing uh, to carry out his legislative function. The speaker of the House of, uh, of Assembly, uh, that's River State House of Assembly, Honorable Ikuyo Wajibani, also commended the River State Governor, talked about his disposition and developmental projects that has promoted the image of River State. He appreciates the governor for building this edifice uh, for him and, and respectively every other successive speaker of the River State House of Assembly. He says that the governor has done well for the people. These were their words. For the governor, it also talked about that he's committed to all the projects he embarks on and uh, he makes sure that he will start and finish every project that his administration has embarked on. And uh, talking politics, he also uh, talked about those who will succeed him or wherever is coming to succeed him, invariably will have to have the interest of Rivers people like him to be able to get his support. He spoke about a couple of things, but right now we're focused on this very lovely edifice that will be occupied by the speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Honorable Ikui Owaji Ibani. It's a five bedroom duplex uh, with all kinds of facilities, including a swimming pool, a lawn area, and several other facilities that we may not be able to uh, see at the moment. The governor and his guests, party leaders, executive members of his uh, cabinet are joining him to tour this facility. Uh, and you're watching it live right here on your home for the news channels television.
This is Channel Television. You're watching us from Port Harcourt in River State, where you're witnessing the commissioning of the residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. The commissioning of the residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly by the River State Government. And we're coming to you live from Port Harcourt, the River State capital. And right here, we are seeing um, some people outside the building or within the compound. Uh, but outside the main building as the special guest uh, the governor uh, as well as other dignitaries have been led around the building to within the building rather to take a look at uh, the beautiful edifice the five bedroom duplex being built by the river state government for the speaker of the river state house of assembly at the moment honorable ikiyon waji bani is the speaker of the river state house of assembly and he's going to be occupying this facility and from our understanding this is going to be the official residence of every person who eventually becomes speaker of the river state house of assembly it was commissioned by chief austin opara the former deputy speaker uh, of the house of representatives uh, they are taking a tour of the facility and if you've been following us right here on channels television your home for the news the witness series of projects flag off and commissioning by the river state government just to take us a little bit, uh, uh, just a few days ago on Saturday, the state government was in the kingdom of Opobo, the ancient kingdom of Opobo, to commission the road that leads to that kingdom. The Opobo kingdom, according to history, is about 150 years, and I've never had the privilege of, uh, uh, the people have never had the opportunity to travel by road to their community. Uh, they've always used the sea, and um, the administration of Nyesong Wike has been able to provide the road infrastructure for the people of Opobo and that was commissioned by the former Minister of Police Affairs, uh, Honorable Adamu Waziri, the ancient kingdom of Opobo right now. Uh, the people there can actually go to their community 
via road. A part of the landmark project of the Wike led administration is actually called the Ogoni Andone Opobonkoro Road. And just part of the phase was commissioned on Saturday and the governor has promised to complete every other part of the road eventually. And then uh, going way back on Monday, the River State Governor commissioned the uh, National Union of River State Students National Secretariat and ICT Center at the River State University. Uh, this is going to be the rendezvous for all students of River State uh, to now say that they have a place in the River State University uh, where they can call their own national secretary and the governor himself who is uh, a rivers man of as a matter of fact because he's a rivers man uh, was able to put that together for the people of river state as well as the students uh, he says that this is part of his commitment and demonstration to unionism student unionism and of course uh, that project was commissioned on monday by senator bennett bira b and then on Tuesday, he went on to the University of Port Harcourt, which is his alma mater for the foundation laying ceremony of the Uniport or University of Port Harcourt Convocation Arena. That was done by Professor Ndowa Lale, who is a former vice chancellor of the University of Port Harcourt. If you know, uh, the River State Governor studied law at the University of Port Harcourt. That is his alma mater. And um, he's committed himself to ensuring that the convocation arena that has been there for a couple of years is uh, put in better shape. And so it's laid the foundation for the Uniport convocation arena. Uh, he did that on Tuesday. And then just yesterday, he, he was at the, um, in Port Harcourt again for the flag off of the reconstruction of the government house jetty, where he talked about this is going to be developed such that uh, it's going to serve as part of tourist attraction because of how the place was. Though he expressed his displeasure over some of the state of, of the things he saw there, but he had promised that he's going to deploy as much resources as possible to ensure that that jetty is developed and it becomes uh, quite a sight to behold in the near future. And from his words today, when we're listening to him during his remark, he said he'll be heading to Ogubolo to flag off yet another project tomorrow, which is Friday, July the 9th. And then on Monday, I was going to converge, uh, gather the people of River State to give account of stewardship of his six years as governor of River State. Now, he's been commissioning projects and flagging up projects for the past two months, if I, my memory serves me right. And uh, your home for the news has covered literally every part of that journey to mark his six years in office as the governor of River State. But what we're witnessing today is the commissioning of the official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. For him, according to him, it's a demonstration of the relationship that exists between the legislative and the executive arm of government. And so we're just taking a tour and taking a look at the sights and sound of this particular beautiful edifice. We'll just let you in to take a look at it and enjoy every bit of it. Hallelujah, 
This is Channels Television. You've been watching a live coverage of the commissioning of the official residence of the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly by the state government in Port Harcourt, the state capital. We now return to Lagos to continue with our regular programs and up uh, at the top of the hour is News Track. Stay with us. <laughs>